generally, these protect against five common feline viruses. So things like uh, feline panleukopenia, feline herpes virus, and a few others as well. It's exactly the same vaccine as you would give your domestic cat. We give it to these guys just to make sure we're doing as much as we can to protect them from viruses uh, here at the sanctuary as well. Good, 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 good. It's just got absolutely no skin. Hey, you need to get an energy ready to meet or am I sure you got this? Good boy. Good. There you go. Yeah, he can go back to bed. Let me actually have a look at that eye. Hi. Hi, Norris. Good boy. No, that's good, yeah. That looks clear. Pop him back to bed. He was really good, yeah, yeah, nice and calm. So that's good. And then I was just rubbing, because uh, he's got so much fur, just rubbing his scruff after I'd done it as well, just to, in case there was a wet patch that just sort of appeared and it might have meant, meant that I'd just sort of slightly missed, but no wet patch, so we think he's, he's got all of it. Snow leopards can be prone to something called ocular coloboma, which is a potentially a big issue. We did see something in his eye before, and I just wanted a clear look at his eye now, a little bit further on, but actually I think it was just some goo, you know, some sleep in his eye that made it possibly look like there was an issue where hopefully there's not, and his eye looked nice and clean there, so that's good. So he might be a bit subdued for the next couple of days after his vaccine, that's totally normal, but obviously we need to just keep close eyes on him on the camera uh, and make sure that it's not more subdued than we expect. But, um, you know, he might be fine, he might just be a, a little bit a little bit subdued for a couple of days. Mm -hmm.